Welcome to the video. So I'm back on the Asus Flip C433 Chromebook from the review I showed you on the channel recently right here. And today I'm going to talk about three Chrome OS settings that I think are worth checking out, especially if you've got a new Chromebook, but equally if you've had one for a while, it might just be worth taking a look to see how you've got things set up here. So let's open the settings app by clicking down in the bottom right hand corner by the clock. Uh, just click on the cog right here. And the first thing we're going to look at is your screen resolution. So actually start to type in display into the search here and click on to display size. Now, chances are you may have purchased a Chromebook capable of a full HD display. That's 1920 by 1080 pixels, but you may not be running that. Um, so definitely check this one out. Now, I'm definitely not running that right now because I'm intentionally running at a lower resolution for the video to give a larger size. But if you um, drag this setting all the way over until you get to your uh, resolution, so 1920 by 1080 is the native resolution of this panel, um, you'll see it can go even higher if I want it to. So it's just worth checking that out, seeing which resolution you're running at, um, if you want to run at full HD and what you're happiest running in, especially if you're doing a lot on the screen with, I don't know, Google Sheets or similar, you might want to increase that resolution. Just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna drop it back down to this larger setting now at 120%. And then we're going to move straight into the second tip that I want to show you. So this is actually in the same menu. It's right here. It's the nightlight. So this is a setting that you might have on your phone. You might be familiar with it there. But if you want to do exactly what it says here, so make it easier to look at your screen or read in dim light when you're on your Chromebook, you're going to want to make sure this is on. By default, it's probably off at the moment. So you can see the difference there already in the video if I just uh, filter that or click it on and off and you can see you can adjust between cooler and warmer and what i like to do on this schedule menu is just select this sunset to uh, sunrise option and then you've not even got to think about it it's going to do it all for you so that's tip number two let's now talk about tip number three so i want to talk a bit more about security um, so if you actually type in uh, lock screen into the search and then go ahead and click on that it's going to ask you for your password so go ahead and enter that and you'll see this setting i've got turned on here so you've probably got this turned off like this so it's show lock screen when waking from sleep so you might be used to just grabbing your chromebook opening the lid and you're straight back into it there's no need to enter your password or do anything you're just straight back onto the web or whatever app you're using and that's great for just getting on with life using your chromebook and being productive but if you're traveling if you're out with your chromebook at all or um, you think about anyone that might want to access your data or your browsing history that's also pretty easy for them so by turning this on just toggling that on you've just got that extra layer of security where when you next lift the lid it's going to ask you for your password so it's just a lot more secure so just think about that think about whether you want to have the pin or password option if you're also using a pin so let me know if any of these settings tips have helped at all do leave a comment down below with yours and do give a like and consider a subscribe if this has been useful and as a bonus go ahead and check out my chromebooks how-to playlist that i've linked right here for you cheers